So, we have a few more driver videos to go, but before we get there, some of you have let me know in the comments that drivers still scare you. And as your instructor, I find your fear unacceptable. Here at Royal Skies, we do not fear our problems. We analyze them, face them head on, and destroy them without mercy. You need to stop being afraid of things you don't understand. Otherwise, you're gonna be afraid of everything as it changes around you. Anything you've ever wanted to learn is just a matter of knowing where to click. And I will always always show you exactly where to click and what to press. That being said, the Patreon squad has requested an additional video dedicated to explaining drivers more thoroughly. So we are gonna try something different. Instead of teaching you how to create a driver, I'm gonna teach you how to understand them. This is the driver that we used to control the finger position in the last tutorial. So how do you understand what's going on here? Well, here's the trick. The only things on this screen that you need to pay attention to are here and here. Everything else is fluff. Just ignore it, just forget about it. It. This tells you the trigger, and this tells you how we use the trigger. If your trigger value is a rotation, then these two settings will always be set to quaternion and local space. Don't ask me why, just trust me and use them. So, if we wanted to understand this driver, we'd look here and see that it's telling us that our trigger comes from a bone named pointer 1, and the value that it's specifically checking for is Z rotation. Not X rotation, not Y rotation, this driver only activates when the finger's Z rotation changes. Okay, you still with me? Good. Last, we look at the equation. Now right now, ours is pretty simple. But in the next four videos, you are gonna see me type in some really weird shit into this area. Shit that you probably won't understand. But don't worry. It doesn't mean you're an idiot. It just means that you don't know how to program yet. And I will teach you how to program later. But that will be in a different series. So for now, just copy my equations and I'll teach you how to tweak them for your own rig. The main point is that at the end of all this, we are gonna get a number. And whatever number that turns out to be is gonna appear right here. Here, because that is where we created the driver. So you may be wondering, what's the point of doing all this work to control this number? Or any of these numbers? Well, the truth is, these numbers control everything on your rig. When you move a bone with your mouse like this, you as the human probably think, I just moved the arm. But that's not what really happened. The way Blender sees it, you just changed the position of this bone to this and shifted its rotation to that. Clicking and moving things with your mouse is really just a shortcut to controlling these numbers. Now, if you don't like drivers, you don't have to use them. You can can have correction bones without drivers. If every time you move the arm like this, you want to manually rotate your correction bone, then go for it. I think it's a giant waste of time, but it's your rig. Just do what's best for you. Now, if you're still lost, don't worry. As long as you just copy my motions and equations, Blender will know what to do. And I will be giving you my rig at the end of this series. And it's gonna come with all the drivers and correction bones attached. So you can use mine if you're having trouble making your own. So just relax and take it easy. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.